Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottonen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to create a double exposure inside of Photoshop. But first, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com, for all of your photography needs. We're going to learn several techniques in this video, but let's begin by extracting Peggy from the background. In the file menu, choose select and then select and mask. It's important to note that this feature was recently updated and significantly improved with Photoshop CC 2018. You'll notice that I have a very small cursor. I'm going to make that larger with my right bracket key. I'm going to leave all of the settings as default and simply start to click and drag over Peggy in order to select her. Now Photoshop did a really good job, but let's zoom in with a command or control plus. I see a small area on her beak that needs to be improved. But what you can do is choose the refine edge brush tool and then start to brush over that area and Photoshop will do a really good job at essentially refining that edge. Now you can see it over here on her feathers as well. If I just brush over those feathers, Photoshop will find those areas of contrast and make a pretty good selection. I'm going to say okay to return this result and you'll notice that Photoshop automatically created a layer mask for us. Now I'm going to press Command or Control minus just to zoom out and reposition this image. And then I'm going to grab this image of a farm that I found on the internet. I did not take this photo. I would love to credit the photographer, but there were no notes or comments along with this photo. I'm going to press V on my keyboard in order to access my move tool. Then I'm going to simply click on this image and drag it over to the canvas with Peggy and reposition it about like that. I can close this image of the farm because I won't be needing it anymore. And I can make this a little bit larger with Command Plus or Control Plus on the PC. Next, I'm going to change this blending mode from normal to overlay. Now remember, blending modes are simply the way pixels on one layer interact with the pixels below them. And there is Peggy larger than life with this farm double exposed. And since we're feeling creative today, let's change this up by adding a new layer by pressing the layer icon at the bottom of the layers palette, clicking and dragging to reposition this layer. I just would like to fill this layer with white. I noticed that white is my foreground color. So I'm going to press G on my keyboard and click in order to fill it with white. So obviously you'll see what happened is that layer one is now constrained within the layer mask of layer zero because of this white background. If I hide the visibility of layer two, then it, you can see the entire image. But let's leave that like this for now and zoom out with a command minus. And to get another look, you can hold down shift on your keyboard and click the layer mask in order to disable it. And you'll notice it has this double exposure effect, but it also changed the colors of the image. And I think in a pretty unique way. Another thing you can do is add a gradient layer in order to alter the colors even further. Let's create that gradient layer by clicking the icon at the bottom of the layers palette and selecting gradient. And what I'm going to do is choose this color that somewhat reminds me of a sunset. I'm going to say okay, and then change the blending mode of this layer also to overlay. And by the way, if you'd like, you could try soft light as well. It'll be very similar, but I'll drop the opacity on that layer a little bit. And you can see that with just a few simple techniques, you can create really unique images. Most of our videos are a little bit more practical than this, but I thought it would be fun to experiment. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.